Hello, everyone, welcome to the popular science channel of Creative Biolabs. Creative Biolabs is a CRO company offering comprehensive ProTac technical services. Today, let's explore the ProTac technology applied in tumor targeted therapy. First of all, the following will be presented to you such as a brief introduction to ProTac, the mechanism of action, the advantages and disadvantages of ProTac as a drug, and the core content, the application of ProTac technology in tumor therapy, and the last part, the ProTac solutions provided by Creative Biolabs. ProTac, full name is Proteolysis Targeting Chimera, was first put forward by Professor Craig Cruz and his collaborators in 2001. With the development of protein drugs, the research and development of ProTac continue to heat up. ProTac is a bifunctional molecule, consisting of three parts shown on the right, the target protein ligand, the E3 ubiquitin ligase ligand, and the linker which connects these two ligands. ProTac, serving as a drug development technology, features with the cell's own ubiquitin protein enzyme system to degrade the target protein, which has been a promising tumor-targeted therapy. The ubiquitin proteasome system is a highly conserved mechanism in eukaryotic cells for degrading normal and misfolded proteins and maintaining intracellular protein homeostasis. Ubiquitin proteasome system includes ubiquitin, ubiquitin activating enzyme E1, ubiquitin binding enzyme E2, ubiquitin ligase E3D26S proteasome, and ubiquitin enzyme. The ubiquitin degradation of the target protein is completed in five continuous steps. Firstly, E1 enzymes activate ubiquitin, which requires some energy from ADP. Next, the ubiquitin activating E1 transmits activated ubiquitin molecules to E2 enzymes. And then, the ubiquitin ligase E3 connects E2 binding ubiquitin to the target protein. Fourthly, the tail end of the labeled protein molecule forms a small ubiquitin molecular chain. Last, 20SIXS proteasome specifically recognizes this substrate protein with ubiquitin tag and degrades it. In general, the target protein is covalently linked to several ubiquitin molecules under the action of ubiquitin activating enzyme E1, ubiquitin binding enzyme E2, and ubiquitin ligase E3, and is finally recognized and degraded into small peptides by 20SIXS proteasome. Ubiquitin is recycled under the action of D-ubiquitin ligase, and these small peptides are degraded into amino acids by proteases in the cytoplasm. Inspired by the ubiquitin proteasome system in eukaryotic cells, scientists designed ProTac to hijack the ubiquitin proteasome system and degrade the target protein. ProTac recruits the target protein and E3 ubiquitin ligase at the same time to form a ternary complex of target protein ProTac E3 ubiquitin ligase which makes the target protein ubiquitinated by E3 ligase. Ubiquitinated proteins can be specifically recognized and degraded by intracellular proteasomes, while ProTac is released to reparticipate in the cycle. ProTac protein degradants can eliminate, rather than just inhibit, the target protein and hold the promise of improving the limitations of traditional inhibitors. Its main advantages include event-driven activity, targeting unavailable proteins, overcoming drug resistance, low dose, and so on. The first advantage is event-driven activity, unlike the traditional mode of action driven by small molecular inhibitors, ProTac can be used as a catalyst to initiate the degradation of target proteins in a repeatable manner. The second advantage is degradation of unavailable targets. ProTac can use low-affinity small molecular ligands or oligodeoxynucleotides as protein bait to instantly bind to target proteins, thus providing a new method for the degradation of unavailable proteins. The third advantage, it can avoid compensatory protein expression. Targeted therapy, such as small molecular inhibitors, may induce compensatory protein expression after administration, thus reducing efficacy and increasing side effects. ProTac can effectively downregulate the level of protein of interest by accelerating the ubiquitin proteasome system-mediated degradation process, thus preventing the expression of poi compensatory protein. As for the weaknesses of ProTac, the first is its poor tissue or cell permeability. ProTac needs to enter the cell to mobilize the intracellular ubiquitin proteasome system, so membrane permeability is the key to the role of ProTac. However, due to its large molecular weight and exposed polar surface area, the cell or tissue permeability of ProTac is much lower than that of small molecules. 
The second is the limited number of E3 ubiquitin ligases available. The design of PROTAC requires known protein of interest or E3 ligands as protein bait, so the development of PROTAC largely depends on the discovery and optimization of these ligands. The occurrence and development of cancer is a complex process, which is characterized by continuous proliferation signals, avoidance of growth inhibitors, resistance to cell death, induction of angiogenesis, and activation of invasion and metastasis. Studies have shown that some overexpressed and or overactivated proteins play a key role in tumor genesis and are potential targets for cancer therapy. PROTAC can act as targets for these important proteins and play a role in targeted therapy of cancer. In the stage of tumor cell proliferation, target molecules including BRD4, CDK4, or CDK6, Aurora A, EGFR, and BRAF can be used for tumor targeted therapy by PROTAC technology. Apoptosis is an evolutionarily conservative process that maintains tissue homeostasis under cellular stress, DNA damage, and immune surveillance. However, cancer cells can upregulate anti-apoptotic proteins, such as BCL2 and BCLXL, or downregulate proapoptotic factors, such as PUMA, BACs, to avoid apoptosis, thus promoting abnormal survival, therapeutic resistance, and cancer recurrence. Therefore, targeting apoptosis can initiate programmed cell death of cancer cells and improve their response to anti-cancer drugs. Tumors provide nutrients and oxygen through a new vascular system generated by angiogenesis and discharge metabolic waste and carbon dioxide. Vascular endothelial growth factor as a key growth factor can specifically recognize VEGFR to induce the formation of a new vascular system. Blocking VEGF or VEGFR signals to inhibit angiogenesis has become an important strategy in cancer treatment. In order to maintain cell survival, cancer cells induce inflammation and immune escape by reprogramming tumor microenvironments that regulate cell, B-cell receptor signal transduction and T-cell receptor signal transduction. Immune checkpoint inhibitor is a new immunotherapy that can alleviate immunosuppression and achieve immune-mediated tumor clearance. However, some patients have congenital or acquired resistance to immunotherapy. Protact targeting immunity and inflammation provides a new strategy to overcome these problems. Tumor cells extravasate, spread, and successfully colonize distant organs through the circulatory system to achieve metastasis, resulting in about 90% of cancer deaths worldwide. Epithelial mesenchymal transition as a crucial step in the metastatic process can be activated by several upstream cellular signaling pathways, including the integrin or FAK or PI3K or AKT axis. Protac targeting epithelial mesenchymal transition related proteins has been developed to regulate cancer metastasis. Focal adhesion kinase FAK is one of the most important effectors in the integrin signal pathway. Overexpression of FAK associated with poor clinical prognosis drives tumor invasion and migration by exerting kinase-dependent and independent functions. However, currently developed inhibitors do not affect the independent skeleton function of the key FAK kinase. Therefore, PROTAC targeting FAK provides a new strategy for the treatment of tumors. Equipped with a professional research team, Creative Biolabs offers one-stop PROTAC-based drug development services from early discovery to preclinical evaluation. As an international cooperation with worldwide resources, Creative Biolabs can provide global clients with a platform that speeds up PROTAC development. The services include but are not limited to ligand identification, custom peptide synthesis, comprehensive in vivo, and in vitro evaluation services. If you have any questions about the PROC development, please email us.